Today's elections, Republicans hope to take control of the United States Senate, and the odds makers give them a 70% chance of doing just that. From the SMU campus this morning, good morning to political science professor Cal Gilson, who is looking over one shoulder at the approaching rain. I'll try to make it fast. Good morning. Thanks, Tim. Good morning. Uh, is Wendy Davis, as we talk about the, the one thing that's really on the minds of Texans, Wendy Davis crazy to sit in our studio last week and say, oh, no, I can win this thing? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, a lot of the polling shows her to be down, and the polling all year has showed her to be down somewhere between the upper single digits and the mid-teens. So for her, it's a question of the margin. And for the Democratic Party, it's a question of whether the margin is sort of below 12 or 13, in which case yeah. they can take some heart. If it's above that, they can't. Uh, the next position on the ballot below governor is lieutenant governor, which constitutionally is really is a more powerful position in Texas than even the governor is. Uh, some question about whether Dan Patrick, a state senator from Houston, is too conservative for even some conservative Republican voters. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I, I got to. Uh, say that the governorship is more powerful than the lieutenant governorship. Uh, everybody at lieutenant governor wants to be governor. Nobody who is governor wants to be lieutenant governor. So politics is about power and influence. But this particular race, Dan Patrick, is a conservative Tea Party oriented Republican who's been very quiet in the general election yeah. because the Abbott campaign doesn't want him saying anything that gets too much negative attention. He's going to win his race relatively comfortably. Uh, as we turn to national politics, can this be called, and a lot of attention on the United States Senate races, uh, can this be called from the, from, from the governor's mansions to the U.S. House to the Senate a referendum on Barack Obama and, and, uh, and his time in office? Well, I think that the congressional races certainly can. The governor's races are contested on, on state issues, and the Democrats are going to do better on the governor's races than they are on the, the House and Senate races, because House and Senate races are contested on national issues, and Republicans can use Barack Obama against Democrats in all those races and have been very effectively. So it looks as if Republicans will pick up another 8 to 12 seats in the House, increasing their majority. And in the Senate, that's what we'll all be watching tonight. Republicans need six seats net pickup to take control of the Senate. And there are 10 uh, seats that are up for grabs. Right. If they get six, seven, eight, it's a good night. 10 is a really big night for the Republicans. And if Republicans, as expected, take control of the United States Senate, there's a certain guy from Texas who is on the ballot, who has been very much under the radar, who would be in an enviable power position, John Cornyn. Yeah, John Cornyn is the number two Republican in the United States Senate. Mitch McConnell is the majority leader. He's on the ballot uh, this time in Kentucky, and it looks like he's going to win. So he would remain the number one Republican in the Senate. And if the, the majority is, is with the Republicans, he'll run the place. Although the Senate is very hard to run as a, as a practical matter. But John Cornyn will be number two. Uh, and he'll be able to influence a wide range of issues. He'll keep Texas in the back of his mind all the time. But one of the dangers for someone like McConnell or Cornyn is if you focus on national issues, forget about your state, right. you can lose contact and it's a danger in your next election. Right, as, uh, as uh, one or two U.S. senators are about to find out probably today. Cal Gilson, I could spend hours with you. Thanks so much for sharing your time. Thank you, Tim, and thank Evan for holding off that rain. <laughs> I'd, I'd run right now if I were you. Thanks very much.